Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is David A. Quad and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're a brand new visitor to my YouTube channel and have no idea what my videos are all about, I know I'm talking about things I'm passionate about like movies, comic books, video games, I do hauls, reviews, unboxings. If uh, that's the type of thing you're into, you may want to check out my other content. If you like what you see, do subscribe. Today we're going to talk about my final Halloween slash horror related video for this year of 2016. I'm going to talk about all the movies I own I to doing with The Exorcist and Exorcism. That's right. Every movie I own, there's tons more out there, by the way, that have something to do with demon possessions and some type of preacher or priest or a bishop or someone coming in to exorcise the demon. All right. So we're going to start with, uh, actually, some of these movies I haven't seen yet. So we're going to divide them in half. We're going to divide it right here. These are movies I've seen. And this is the haul video. This is the movies I have not seen yet. I probably will watch it, I don't know, now that Halloween is, is over, or, or either it is Halloween for you guys or whatever, um, I, I just have no desire to watch it for, for the rest of the year, you know, <laughs> until until next Halloween, you know. But uh, we'll talk about these, these later. Let's talk about these movies. I think the most popular exorcism type movie is The Exorcist. That's right. I got the complete anthology here. Well, I guess it's not complete anymore. They actually have a TV series, which is actually quite good, by the way. I actually really enjoy the TV series. That's a, it's on Fox right now, all right? Um, currently, at the time of this video, there's been seven episodes, all right? And it's getting good, man. I thought that it has no connection to, the, to these movies. They actually finally revealed this, this huge twist in, in the story, you know? So the TV series is officially part of canon with this, all right? It's cool. Um, this set... It's got five movies in it. It's got the original, of course. Where is it? Here it is. The Exorcist, and it also includes the uh, version that you've never seen with uh, additional footage and all that stuff. All right. We got Exorcist, Exorcist 2, The Heretic. All right. There's Reagan right there. We got The Exorcist 3. Mm -hmm. We got some returning characters in this one. And then we got, it's, this is interesting because when they made a prequel to the movie, they made two versions of it. Like they made one version of it and then the director got fired or something like that or there was like something uh, related to the production of the, of, the, uh, of, the, uh, of the movie, right? And they brought in someone else and they remade the movie from scratch. They released that movie, had more action and CGI and stuff like that. And then everyone says, this movie sucked. And then they were like, decided to release the original version, the one that they, they fired the director and stuff like that for, you know? And that movie, turned, well, it was better, but it wasn't that, that you know, it was better than the, the whole action sequence one that they, they released in theaters, but eh, it's not exactly the perfect movie, right? And that's Exorcist, uh, Dominion, and uh, Exorcist Beginnings, right? So there's, there's two versions. It has the same actor playing Father Marin, you know, the, the old priest from the original movie. He's young in this one, all right? Played by the same dude who was uh, Jane's dad in uh, Avengers and Thor and stuff like that. All right, so there it is, The Exorcist, all right? Let's move on. We need to get through it as much as possible because there's a lot of movies here. You saw that stack. Um, next one, oh my gosh. I made a, a video on Instagram about this. If you want to see some clips from this movie, you gotta check it out because it's like I, I'm just my, my mind is blown. This movie even exists, okay? Shark Exorcist. I posted on Instagram a picture of this movie. Everyone was like, "What? This movie exists?" And then later on, I posted videos of it. It was absolutely crazy. The acting was terrible, and the plot was like I, I was like, "What's going on?" <laughs> you know? But uh, this movie was uh, actually quite entertaining to me. All right, there it is. <laughs> if you get possessed by the shark, all right, you have jaws of your own. It's kind of funny. It's up here. It's the Exorcist meets Jaws, and the entertaining as it is absurd. It is absurd. You're gonna need a bigger cross. They actually said that in the movie too. <laughs> they had this girl tied up to a tree, the one who's possessed, you know, and he's like possessing, uh, trying to do the exorcism on her, and it's like terrible acting, by the way, and. Uh, the other girl that was that was present at, at the exorcism was like, you need a bigger cross. <laughs> this is so hilarious. And when they scream out stuff, it's like there's no emotion and stuff like that. Right? Now this movie, I absolutely love. After all of the exorcism movies I've seen so far, okay, that's not the exorcist itself. 
I freaking love this one. I've already seen it like four times. Grace to Possession. All right. This movie was unique in that it's first person. Now, I'm not talking about this is a, um, a found footage type movie or anything like that with a camera. No. When you're... When, the, the demon possesses the girl, right? And when she, she looks in the mirror, so you see the actress, and then you see her. The, the whole movie is in the first person. Imagine a first person movie like Hardcore Henry, but it, it's done right, okay? So um, I freaking love this movie. I, I'm, I'm still uh, I'm impressed by um, like uh, the, the, the little things. When she looks in the mirror, you see herself, you know? And like things will show up around her and, and uh, you know, her. Come stuff come, coming out of her skin and whatever, right? And then when she's being exercised, she was like floating in the air, you know, she's breaking glass, and you see it, you know, from her perspective. And then uh, when the priests and the bishops were holding up the cross and whatever, it was like glowing. I was like, wow, this is how the demon sees the world, you know? So if you want to see a first person movie done right, doesn't make you all dizzy, you know? Like uh, recently they had Hardcore Henry. I remember watching an old. Uh, old movie on uh, Turner Classic Movies. That was in first person too. It was like some type of detective movie uh, in black and white. Uh, that was in first person also. But this was, I think this is first person done right. Just watch a trailer or something like that for this movie and, and you'll, you'll see what I mean, right? I like it. <clears throat> the plot, the acting, it's not that impressive, but I love the execution of that movie, okay? I talked about this in a previous vlog. <clears throat> High School Exorcism. This movie is a... Uh, uh, advertisement gone wrong. Let me, let me just say it that way. It, it's a, um, it's a uh, trying to trick you. You know, it says rated R, and you got all these terrible, terrifying pictures and stuff like that. But you watch the movie, it was all goody two shoes and stuff like that. It's like a Disney Channel original movie type of thing. You know, uh, it's very innocent. Um, whole family can watch this. You know, at, at the end, no one. <laughs> they realize that there's, there's no demon possession or anything like that. Everyone's happy and friends together again and stuff like that. It's, it's a it's a good feel. It's a feel good movie. All right. I, I uh, did some research on it. It was like a lifetime movie or something like that. You know, um, one ninety nine. I think that's worth the price. <laughs> oh, you guys have probably heard this one, The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Now this movie is actually different. <clears throat> And that the exorcism already happened, okay? And we were in court because the girl actually died during the exorcism, right? And the priest is uh, being in, on the, he's in the court on, on trial, right? And uh, we see the exorcism through the flashbacks and stuff like that. So they're trying to explain the supernatural and uh, they have witnesses and there were like attorneys going against them and stuff like that. And uh, you hear this, the story from the priest's point of view and from the other parents and stuff like that. And uh, understand what, what what would happen, you know. So it was interesting <clears throat> in that it was like a courtroom drama sort of thing, you know, with, with exorcism being the, the topic. So it says it's based on a true story. I actually have the uh, the movie that has tapes from that true story, right? Um, I enjoy this. If you haven't seen it, it's, it's very interesting. <clears throat> the Devil Inside. Now this movie is a found footage movie. Okay. It's like it's trying to, a girl's trying to document her mom, and her mom's was like uh, institutionalized, and uh, she's trying to uh, find out her, the origins of demons and whatever, trying to figure out what, what would really happen with her mom and stuff like that. And in the process, like this person got possessed, the car rolled over, and you know all these weird supernatural things start happening and whatever. I don't know why this nun is on the front cover. She was in the movie for like two seconds, so. <clears throat> anyway, this is the film the Vatican does not want you to see. <laughs> Very interesting. And uh, there's some pictures, there's some mom right there, stuff like that. That was okay. It's an okay movie. The thing is, I don't really like found footage movies, okay? Um, they make me dizzy sometimes. You know, everyone gets that feeling, you know? Um, <clears throat> getting headaches and whatever. Motion sickness, you know? Next movie I have here is The Right with Anthony Hopkins. This movie is different in that the priest is the one that gets possessed, and like the the Padawan it was the apprentice priest, okay, is the one who has to exercise the demon out of him, you know. So there was a girl, she was possessed and all that, uh, and then it possessed Anthony Hopkins' character, who was a priest, okay, 
And then there was a second priest who like is very doubtful. He doesn't believe in the demons and stuff like that. He ended up being the one who exercised the, the uh, demon out of Anthony Hopkins's priest. Okay, so that was that was what's different about that. I'm gonna talk about these two movies together because they actually go together. The Last Exorcism. There it is. Okay. <clears throat> now this movie's different. Actually, both movies are different in self. You know. <clears throat> Directed by Eli Roth, a producer Eli Roth, okay? Producers of Dawn of the Dead. So The Last Exorcism is actually a found footage movie. The second movie is not. But the girl returns from the first movie, and then she's like trying to figure out what, what happened and stuff like that. Because there was like a cult. I remember at the end of the movie, um, well, basically there was a priest, right? It was like a preacher or something like that. He wasn't like a, a Catholic priest, but he's trying to expose exorcism. Okay? He's an exorcist himself, but he's doing it as a show. He's trying to take people's money. He's a, he's a con man, you know? <clears throat> so he goes to this house, does an exorcism. He does all these special effects and try to... He, he rigged the, 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 the room, you know? And the parents are standing there and watching it. And, and, and they believe there was actual exorcism, but it turned out that uh, uh, he was just trying to... Uh, it was a big hoax, you know? <clears throat> and then, at, towards the end of the movie, this cult tried to burn the girl or whatever and then the demon uh, reveals itself and he's like okay he believes now and he went in and he tries to uh, uh, you know fight the demon or whatever it's pretty interesting the ending at least okay the rest of the movie was actually kind of boring the second one was really boring the girls return okay the girl retur from, from the first movie returns and they're trying to figure out what happened during the exorcism and the and the cult and whatever you know it was interesting Whatever. <laughs> there are those two movies. I have here Demon Exorcism and Demon Exorcism. Once again, this is a found footage movie. Okay, I'm going to explain why I have two of them in a second. But uh, this one dude is trying to make an exorcism movie. So he goes to the house that is where the exorcism took place and it's like abandoned now. So he goes to the house, try to do the exorcism movie, and then the cast and crew of the movie that he's trying to, like, this is a behind the scenes camera, right? Uh, the cast and crew started getting possessed themselves and killing themselves and whatever, and then, yeah, the whole, the whole uh, production team just got, got wiped out. And they said, they, they, they spoiled out at the beginning of the movie, it says, everyone in this movie will die, here's how it happened, you know? And I was like, man, why, why'd you have to show that? Just to show the footage, let us see the, the, the situation you know, uh, unveil itself. I, I don't need little captions in between to tell me, you know? Like, in, in, in between the little scenes and stuff like that, they would say, three, three minutes later, this happened. Three minutes later, we, we, we see this happen and someone dies. And we see it actually happen. I was like, well, you don't have to say, show us that, you know? Just let us see the scenes together. And uh, I hated it, man. I didn't like this movie at all. And this is what happens. When you hate something so much, you try to wipe it out of your brain, this is why I have two copies, because I didn't even know that I even saw it. I, I completely forgotten it. It's like a post-traumatic stress sort of thing, you know? I, 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 I tried to erase it out of my mind, and it actually succeeded. I succeeded in erasing it out of my mind to the point where I actually didn't, forgot I even bought it. So I bought it again, didn't even know I bought it the first time. <laughs> so, so that was crazy, right? So now I have two copies of a movie I absolutely hate, and I'm like, whatever, you know? So, I bought the first time, it was $4.99, and I bought the second time, it was $1.99, at least, it was, you know, it was not, not a huge, huge loss, you know, but it's funny, I actually forgot the movie even existed, because I, I erased it out of my mind, I hated it so much, I, I was like, I want to forget this movie, and I actually succeeded, and then I bought the movie again, <laughs> because I forgot I, had the, I bought the movie the first time, it's just so crazy, man. Uh, Exorcismus. Okay, there's the cover. The, there's a sticker here covering it. I got a lot of these movies from Hastings. By the way, today is the last day for Hastings. At 5 o'clock today, Hastings will close, and my favorite store ever will be gone forever, you know? Uh, I'm gonna go there probably like 3 o'clock and see what's left. I bought a couple things yesterday, like, that was it. 85% off, and <laughs> the store's gonna be emptied out by, by the time I get there today, probably. <clears throat> buy it, but, you know, when I checked, there was a lot of stuff still there. Exorcismus. What's this movie about? I forgot this one. Is this? No, that's this movie, I think. What is this movie? 
An emotionally disturbed girl is locked in a fierce battle with a vicious demon that's hell-bent on owning her soul. Destined, destined to bring her back, her family hired a priest to perform an exorcism. That could be any of these movies! What a- oh my gosh, okay. I'll, there it is, there's- I've seen this movie. I remember seeing it, but I don't remember the events of what happened in it, okay? It's everything is so cliche and, and uh, repetitive, you know? All these movies have something to do with... They all have the same, the same, same stuff happen, okay? Oh, this is Blackwater. This is, uh, this is Exorcismus. This is Blackwater Exorcism, okay? Blackwater Valley Exorcism. I still don't know what it, Which one is this one? Oh, okay. Exorcismus is the one with the uncle. The, there's this strange uncle who's been away from the family and stuff like that for a while, and the girl... His niece got possessed, so he came to, to, to stop it. There it is, okay? So, so he, he came back to the family to help the family out. But I, I remember that uh, during the process, you know, the father, like, kills himself or whatever. You know, he was, like, he was, like, being affected by the, the events and stuff. The Exorcism of Molly Hartley. Now, I don't know if you remember, there was a movie called The Haunting of M Molly Hartley or something. <clears throat> This one continues the story, but with different actress, different cast, different director. I'm like, it was like everything's different about it, okay? Um, I believe. Because I never saw the haunting one. But there was this priest. There's the priest. He's been, uh, he's not supposed to perform an exorcism, but he does it anyway. You know, so he's like un unqualified to do an exorcism. That, that, that's like the, the big uh, thing about the movie is that, oh, he's an unqualified priest doing an exorcism. What's going to happen? You know, so... I remember they succeeded. She was happy when she got out. So that is it, everyone. These are the movies that I have seen related to exorcism, okay? Exorcism and stuff like that. Now these here will go by quick because I haven't seen them yet. We'll just look at the special features. How about that, okay? All right. Let's do this. We got Annalise. The Exorcist Tapes. This is actually what is, uh, The Exorcism of Emily Rose is based on. I couldn't finish this. I actually started watching this. I couldn't watch the whole thing. First of all, it's not in English, okay? So you have to watch the subtitles and stuff like that. But it's like, oh, this is the true story to tapes of, the, of this exorcism happening and stuff like that. History's most famous possession captured on film. Captured on film quite boringly, by the way. Uh, forsaken, evil has chosen. We have been abandoned. Special features include cast interviews and trailers. What's this about? When a priest discovers his wife is definitely ill, he decides to go against his fate and use his knowledge of exorcism to possess her in order to save her life. So this is interesting that the priest has a wife. Okay. Ava's possessions. Yeah, with an S. All right. Comes with behind the scenes featurettes and music videos. Ava is recovering from demonic possession with no memory of the past month. She is forced to attend a Spirit Possessions Anonymous support group. Really? Let's move on. <laughs> Exorcist, House of Evil. Alright. Based on a true story shot in the real Exorcist house, <clears throat> a young woman returns to her old family home, the site of an infamous exorcism. And discovers the devil never left. <laughs> Onward. Inner demons. This one has really scary imagery on it. For one ninety nine, when a teenage daughter of a religious family transforms from straight A student to a heroin addict, her parents agree to allow a reality TV show crew to stage an intervention and document her recovery. And I guess they find out that she's actually possessed by a demon, huh? So I'm guessing it is a, uh, seeing it's a reality TV show, it's a found footage type movie. All right, there it is. Or maybe it's in the, in the, in the like, you know, that Jersey Shore type of format. They have little interviews in between and stuff like that. that that'd be kind of interesting to watch. Oh, you should know this one, To Possession. Yeah. All right, what is this movie about? I've not seen it, by the way. Special features include audio commentaries, a real history of the the book box featurette. I guess that has a Clyde and Stephanie's 
See little cause for alarm when her youngest daughter, M, becomes oddly obsessed with an antique wooden box she purchased at a yard sale. And I guess the, the wooden box is possessed or something. There it is. <laughs> Possession. Let's move on. How far are we in the video? It says 20 minutes. Oh my gosh. If you guys watch this point, do comment or, you know, say something. Because you guys are real troopers. The Ouija Exorcism. The Ouija boards, you know? They had a separate movie. I guess they're trying. There's a new movie, you know, at the time. The uh, Ouija movie, right? And uh, I believe that's how, how I pronounce it. And they probably had to uh, make another movie. I, there's, another, there's a movie called Independence Day Resurgence. Independence spelled T apostrophe S. I saw it at the at the Walmart. I was like, huh. there's, there, you know, unbeknownst grandmas, you know, trying to get movies for their for their grandsons or whatever, uh, would be tricked into buying those movies. You know, in 1985, a celebrated exorcist trapped a horrific demon inside an Ouija board, thinking the board to be a game. His son played it without obeying the rules and let the demon loose. Yep, very uh. Sounds very, uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, you, you know what's gonna happen? Jeez Louise, I can't think right now. I just woke up, by the way. All right, all right. The Exorcism of Anna Eklund. All right, what is this movie about? You know what? It's about exorcism. I bet there's a demon in it. And uh, onward. <laughs> Let's watch our uh, next video. Exorcist Chronicles. There it is. Got it. Girl with a cross on her head, right there. Across the world, demonic possessions are occurring at an alarming rate, taking over the lives of thousands of young women. The Vatican is aware of the dilemma and signs a special task force led by a priest and a scientist to investigate. A special task force. So this is like the suicide squad of, a, uh, of exorcism movies, apparently. Deliver Us From Evil! you probably heard of this movie, right? It has Eric Bana in it. Inspired by the actual accounts of NYPD uh, Sergeant. Okay? So, I'm guessing someone plays a cop, and uh, they're trying to investigate the exorcism or something like that, and uh, gets into all sorts of crazy, crazy mis hijinks. A New York police officer begins investigating a, a series of bizarre and disturbing in, in, inexplicable crimes when he uncovers that the crimes are of supernatural origins. Alright, I haven't even opened this one yet. The Vatican Tapes. It has Michael Pena in it, the guy from Ant-Man. He plays a priest in this movie, apparently. Angela Holmes is an ordinary 27-year-old until she begins to have a devastating effect on anyone close, causing serious injury and death. Exorcist, The Fallen. <laughs> I'm looking at this cover, man. I'm like, crazy. Her name was Victoria and she will die. A terrifying, realistic depiction of a family torn apart by demonic possessions. Pray her soul to keep. <laughs> well, this is the last movie here. 199, An Excellent Day. For an exorcism. It's called The Exeter. What's this about? I see a flamethrower. 